Finally, in our program this evening, a mixed bag of successes and failures for the Space Shuttle Challenger today. The crew is still having problems with that $60 million telescope aiming device. It's not working properly. And that's reducing the output of the four telescopes on board the craft. The astronauts had better luck with a tiny satellite they launched from the shuttle's cargo bay. Challenger circled that satellite a few times as the device measured the shuttle's wake. And back on Earth, a group of Staten Island students tried an extraordinary experiment to try to make contact with the shuttle's crew. Rolanda Watts tells us how that all turned out. One of the most exciting things about children is watching them having fun learning. And that's just what about 30 ham radio students were doing here today at IS-72 on Staten Island. These 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are one of only several youth groups throughout the world, chosen by NASA and the American Radio Relay League to participate in the special satellite program. A program whereby the kids try to contact astronaut Tony England via satellites and their ham radios as he orbits space in the shuttle Challenger. 230 nautical miles above Earth. What do you say to an astronaut? Well, you ask how the experiments are going. What, I'm going to ask what happened to the engine that broke down. You know, I'm just excited, and I hope I get to talk to him. What are you going to ask the astronaut? How you go to the bathroom, I guess. I'd, I'd like to figure that out. <laughs> 7 and 40, uh, numbers 2 and 3. Messages in computers, satellites in place, ham radios poised for reception and eager little hams patiently waiting, word finally came from NASA's mission control that astronaut England could not speak with the kids this time around. If you don't succeed the first time, try again. Evidently, he had a work schedule that did not allow him to uh, communicate directly. But he will try again and we'll be ready to receive him. I'm very disappointed because we got our hopes up high and we worked so hard. But still, you know, you also, I learned things from you. This is a success because, you know, it took a lot of time to get a lot of this together. And it was just fun just to be here. I still have some hope left. Hope that um, either there will be contact soon or even if he has to go around the Earth again, I'll, I'll still take it. It's amazing to see how one simple interest in a ham radio has opened up a whole new world for these kids. A world of satellite communications, of computers and different cultures. Now they've even tried to talk with an astronaut. I tell you, learning in 1985 can surely be out of this world. Rolanda Watts, News 4, Staten Island. You know, Pat, they say that astronaut England was too busy to talk to the kids. Maybe he heard about some of the questions they wanted to ask. Like, That's uh, very possible. Like, how, how do you do go you? to the bathroom? That's right. Yeah.